first thing you need to do is to download all of the material that's available on the website. And I just put it all in a, a notebook. And um, that gives you plenty of information uh, that will get you started, uh, specifically not only about the Mariner manual itself, but the uh, flight controller, which is the NASA light. Here is page 8 from the uh, NASA light manual. And these are the important components that I'll point out in your uh, Mariner. First of all, this is the GPS and the compass sensor, all in one unit here. Then we have the NASA controller here. And to that is connected the receiver, which uh, takes the signal from your transmitter and uh, makes the quadcopter do your bidding. And this, of course, is called the VU. And it's an LED light and also an interface with the USB port. So these are the three important components for NASA and then the receiver that you'll find inside the Mariner sealed up with the battery. Buried deep inside this open quad, uh, which is not waterproof, as you'll see, is the flight controller right there. Here you see the GPS receiver and the compass module. Here is the VU LED uh, unit on the USB port is here. Here is the receiver. So there you have uh, what that LED looks like when it's not enclosed, and it's going to tell you everything you need to know about the condition of the quad before you fly it. Okay, looking inside the Mariner, GPS, compass module, NASA flight controller, is the battery, and if you notice, uh, probably when you put that in, uh, make sure you release this little band that holds that in, the strap, and put it in so that all the wiring, once you connect it, stays away from the uh, compass. And I'll show you what I mean. And you can see the VU flashing, just as it did before. Let's take a look and see where that's located. Okay, here's the VU unit, the USB plug, and the LEDs. Now notice this isn't attached. Um, if you'd like, you can attach that so it's more convenient for you. Uh, but remember, if you ever want to upgrade any of the software or firmware, you have to do it using this plug. So uh, I don't have a problem just leaving that any place that's convenient wherever it is, as long as it's away from this unit. And it's quite visible, as you can see. On the right side of the transmitter, you'll notice a switch. It's three positions, top, center, and bottom. The top position is NASA in manual mode. In manual mode, you'll notice the light LED is not flashing. Let's switch to altitude mode. You notice the light is now flashing yellow. And now let's switch to GPS altitude mode, which is the most stable. And you'll notice the light is flashing green. FPV factory uh, personnel came up with a uh, Mariner RTF a flying flow chart, and here you can see the indication of the switch positions from the VU LED module. 
none in manual mode, altitude eddy mode, orange or yellow depending on how your eye is looking at this, and uh, in the GPS eddy mode the LED flash is green as you saw. Finally what I'd like to show you is the compass calibration process and that's also spelled out in the uh, flying flowchart, the simplified version, which uh, the uh, FPV factory personnel have put together for you. So let's take a look at how that's done. Okay, in order to get the uh, NASA controller into the calibration mode for the compass, you go to the flight mode switch and move it back and forth from max to min six to ten times. Point, you should see the orange light on the VU light. So you can hold it like this, you can look down and actually see the light flash, and then move 360 degrees. You continue to do this until you have a constant green light. Then turn it so it's pointing nose down, and again, 360 degrees. At 360 degrees, the LED will go off, and you have now completed the calibration for the compass. Okay, a couple of assumptions. The first one is that this is not the first time you've flown a quadcopter. Even though with the NASA flight control system, it is very stable and very easy to fly. However, you can get into trouble really fast. So with this uh, helpful little video, hopefully uh, you'll get, uh, get a little bit of information um, that is already added to something you already know about quadcopters uh, that's sp uh, specific to the uh, Mariner and the, the NASA light control. It's a stable machine and very capable, and it's waterproof. See you next time.